Hi, I'm Nick from GU Bot Dev. And I'm Bill. And we are here in the future GU Bot Dev Mobile STEM Center. This RV was given to us by John Persinger, and we're very grateful for his donation to allow us to transform this 1995 Coachman Santerra into a modern tech classroom to travel around to local high schools. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through and give you a little bit of our plans for how we want to transform this RV. Alrighty, so welcome to the mobile STEM center for GU Bot Dev. It's uh, got that 1995 feel in here. Do we have any tentative plans for the RV, Nick? We have a few plans that we're thinking about for now. We do know everything's getting gutted. So all the carpet, anything on the walls, we're gonna strip all of that down, uh, try and modernize this as best we can, do a nice flooring. Um, all the cabinets are gonna go. So right behind you, Bill, we're gonna take all those down. We're planning for a, a wall of 3D printers up top there with workbenches underneath for everybody, you know, the students to come in and have some areas to work. So the couch is going as well? Couch is totally going, definitely. We're gonna be ripping that out, um, ripping out this, the, the cabinets back here. Along this wall, we're thinking about an electronics workbench. So power supply, uh, soldering iron, all the tools needed for kids to build their own drones, work on 3D printers, things like that. The, that pretty well does it for up here. Uh, now we're gonna move back a little bit and take a look at some of our plans for behind the kitchen. So is there going to be any trouble to move any of this, like a whole sink, a, an oven and a stove over there? We don't know yet. So we looked briefly to see. Um, we think some of the electrical stuff we should be able to move pretty easily. Uh, we'll see about, you know, ripping out a stove, the microwave, the sink, all of this we want to go. Um, as long as we can get around some of the, the hookups for electric and water and things like that, then we'll gut all of this um, all the way back uh, to give us more room for, for work area. Yeah. <laughs> so this cabinet's gonna go. We're gonna rip this out. Bathroom's back there, which which may stay. But all of this is gonna come out. We're gonna rip the lighting off the ceiling, add new LEDs, give it a modern bright feel as best we can for a 95 RV. Uh, the only problem we're gonna run into are some of the, the main electrical hookups and uh, water heater and things like that. But most of that's back under here. So we should be okay to get rid of all of this forward. All right, if you want to go back, we'll go all the way into the back and talk about the, the STEM lab, uh, computer lab. FYI, that cabinet has a latch on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All righty, so back here, it's already kind of gutted. We're going to continue with ripping out all the cabinets and carpet. Uh, then we're going to wrap this in desks and put in our drone simulator lab um, where kids can come in and practice drone racing. Uh, the computers will also have our CAD software so we can teach Fusion 360 um, and 3D printing software to all the kids. What about just covering the whole back wall and TVs? That would be awesome. We, we'd love to do a whole monitor array for the drone racing, um, for promo material, things like that. Uh, it's a lot of TVs, so we'll, we'll see what we can work in with a budget. Uh, but for now, we know we'll have one big TV for teaching the students as best we can inside. So yeah, we're gonna, we're, we'll gut all of this, all these cabinets coming out. Uh, the fridge will probably go to give us more room. Basically turn this into a fully sufficient mobile classroom. So you're talking like internet, power, everything. You don't want to mooch off of anyone else. Yeah, so we want to do um, cellular internet. We have a generator on board to give us power. We're thinking about possibly doing solar panels and a larger battery system on board with some of our electrical engineering students. We want this thing to be able to go anywhere, 
set up and be totally sufficient for uh, teaching classes. For instance, the middle of the desert. Yes, so if we decide to drive through Death Valley and host a class there, we want this to be able to handle it. So Nick, are there any plans for the outside of the RV? Yeah, we want to totally transform the outside. So we're going to get a custom printed vinyl wrap. Uh, we're going to add a pop-up tent, tables, chairs, and the undercarriage storage so we can have a, a classroom setting outside when the weather's nice, uh, which will let us do some bigger projects like uh, airplanes, drones, uh, that would require some more space to fly outside. We're also going to upgrade some of the electronics. Uh, we're going to add in ham radio since a lot of us have uh, our amateur radio license. Uh, it has a, a CB radio. We want to add some equipment so we can do our drone video from inside uh, to let us control drones outside of this. We'd love a launch pad on the roof, uh, things to really make our drone flying experience more fun. So for our next video, we'll hopefully have started the demolition on the inside. We'll get rid of all the furniture and the cabinets we don't need. So make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. And until next time, I'm Nick. I'm Bill. From this old mobile house.